Hey guys, welcome back. I thought I'd do a rebuild video for the H HX40 H1E uh, turbo that I have for that uh, Cummins. The only reason why I'm really rebuilding it is, well, actually two reasons. Uh, when the engine decided to drop a couple of valve seats, it, well, the first time it dropped one of the valve seats, it obliterated the last turbo, last turbo shaft that I had. Um, and at the time it was easier for me to just rebuild, uh, replace the cartridge, uh, instead of just tearing apart the entire turbo to replace the, uh, um, turbo shaft well I can't really say easier it was cheaper uh, it was easier yes but that wasn't why I did it I did it because it was overall it was cheaper for me to just replace it as a whole cartridge um, this time what had happened was uh, the number five I think well the second valve seat that dropped um, mangled up the uh inducer yeah the inducer blades of the uh the turbo uh on the on the exhaust side of the turbo shaft um so i ended up having ended up having to replace it anyways exducer were fine it's just it mangled up still mangled up the uh inducer side of them of them uh fins and then when i went to go pull it apart i wasn't paying attention should have been i wasn't paying attention and i ended up snapping the uh turbo shaft uh, because the threads on it are Here's a remnant. See if I can get it in. It won't focus. But anyways, uh, they're left-hand threads. They're not right. typical right-hand threads. Yeah. Ain't nothing to it, but you get to it. Yeah, like I was saying, it... Uh, come on, focus. There we go. The, in, the exducer sides of these blades are perfectly fine. But the inducer side, as you can see, is completely mangled. I pulled the protective plastic off of it, but that's what it's supposed to look like. That's uh, left hand threads. So when you pull it off, or you try to pull your nut off, that sounded wrong. <laughs> Anyways, when you try to pull that turbo shaft nut off, make sure you do it reverse to normal. All right, inside there, is a is two retaining clips and the bronze bushing. This side has it as well. Uh, bronze bushing is not in. I'm gonna show you how to install that. The inside retaining clip is still there, and obviously the outside retaining clip is not. Retaining clip and the bronze bushing. Like I said, the this turbo cartridge is brand excuse me brand new, so there won't be any, there shouldn't be any damage on the inside of this one. But you still want to inspect it just to be sure. Like I said, this side is already installed, so I'm gonna show you how to reinstall this one uh, I know I did not show how to uninstall it um, it's not that hard I ended up using a straight pick to get the to get this C clip out And it wasn't really hot, that hard to get the new one in. I'm just gonna hold it with my finger. I don't know if you can, you probably won't be able to see this, but. 
That's in. And that one's in. Or that side. Both of them sides are in. So that clip is fully installed now. Yep. It's all the way in. Now, I'm going to lube up this, this part of the shaft. I'm missing a part on this. I'm going to pull that clip off. Yep, still looks good. Oh, there we go. Basically, you just press it together, it looks like. It's a T15 Torx. Alright, I took one of them out so we could see what size it was. And it's a uh, M5 volt. Alright. Uh, now that we've figured out what size that screw is, no identifying marks on the head of that screw so it's difficult to tell what grade it is but i'm only going to assume that it's the 88 stuff I took a picture of the math that i had that i did on my dry erase board 54.48 inch pounds 54 all right torque these screws Throw that in there. That's the last bit for the inside of the cartridge. That seal goes in the back. Now I didn't oil this. Actually, let's go ahead and do that right now. And if you pay attention, you can see the air squeezing in. Coming out, I mean. I think I feel a little more resistance now when I try to wiggle it around so I know it's got oil in it. Looks like it's tied up against the compressor flange. Yeah, that was a 10 mil 12 point. I think the other one, other end was a 7 eighths or something. Okay. Now if you remember from the last picture where I had the M5, I also had the M7. Well, the M7 is 202 inch pounds, so let's go ahead and torque this one. Muy bueno.
All right, I'm only going to tighten this up a little bit, uh, basically just snug, because I still have to loosen it back up and find out or bolt up my uh, oil drain tube first before I can really cinch these down. Thanks for watching the video guys if you liked the video hit that thumbs up if you want to check out what's actually going on current go check out my facebook if you really like what i'm doing and you want to help support the channel go check out my patreon